It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Steve Draben, the head men's basketball coach for the Bethel Pilots, who are coming off a victory in the NCCAA Men's Basketball Division I Championship game, the fifth championship in NCCAA history for the Bethel Pilots. Coach, let's just start right there. A 78-72 victory over Clinton College in that championship game. Talk about the win. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. Uh, grateful to be here. It was a, an exciting championship game, an exciting week overall uh, over at Winona Lake at Grace College. Um, they put on a great tournament uh, from the NCCA to, to Grace College. Chad Briscoe, the athletic director there, just did a phenomenal job making it a great experience for um, our program, our, our staff, and our players. And the championship game was fun. Um Challenging and, and nerve-wracking a little bit even before the game. Um, our, our second leading scorer and uh, maybe our leading rebounder, I think, Nathan Ertz, uh, senior, that who's going to come back for an extra year, um, had the Rondo virus and was throwing up and wasn't able to um, you know, make the game. He traveled with the team and had a trash can next to him on the bus on the way there and uh, couldn't make it out of the locker room. His parents actually ended up taking him to the hospital. Um and to get him checked out, get him a couple IVs, and um, he's doing better now. But so we were shorthanded as it was with having a couple guys, um, you know, out as it was. Deacon Heath didn't uh, didn't make the tournament with concussion, and um, and so we had a couple starters down, and and so just playing seven eight guys, and um, some guys who hadn't played a whole lot, you know, throughout the year. Life Granville being one of them, Mickey Stoyano, um, Philip Sagoda, and uh, so we had you know a little, little bit. You know, all American point guard um, rose to the occasion. Actually, had a uh, hamstring strain uh, the game before against Geneva and didn't play in the second half. And had some guys step up there uh, to the to the challenge and, and help us win that game. And he had a phenomenal game. Played forty minutes, scored thirty five points, uh, hit five threes. And you know, then you have Life Granville, who again didn't play big minutes throughout the year, come in and he started the game, had fifteen points, thirteen rebounds, and just led us in a lot of different ways from leadership, positivity, and um, just been a great leader, character guy all year for our team. Um, Al Petulis, a uh, freshman, uh, finished the year with five straight double-doubles, um, dating back to the our conference tournament and NAI national tournament game. And uh, Brandon Hunt played a significant role, um, you know, just along with the, the rest of our crew. So it was a fun, fun game, played a really good athletic team that was a challenge to guard and um, stay in front of the ball as they, they were really good at, at driving the ball to the basket. And um, our guys just stayed the course, found a way, played together, and um, did things the right way. Coach, again, congratulations on that win. It's a six-point victory, and, and the game never got – the spread in the game never went beyond that six points, which proves to be the final margin in that. You talked about Drew Lutz, tournament most outstanding player in doing that. And, and when you – Talk about what I guess looks like a mash unit as, as much as anything uh, going into the championship game. Uh, what do you say to those players then going out at that point in time? You know, it was interesting before the game, you know, just not knowing if Nathan Ertz was going to play and, you know, just having some guys out as it was and, you know, just having 10 on our roster at the time, not, you know, without Nathan was going to be nine. You know, just talked about, you know, just staying together, um, being positive and, you know, hey, this is an opportunity to, to – to win our last game of the year, it's an opportunity to uh, win our 20th game, which is kind of a, a standard for college basketball. It means you have a have had a really consistent, successful year, and uh, we have an opportunity to win uh, to to win rings. Uh, we have a championship wall up on our our, our wall in our locker room uh, with pictures and dates and scores of all the games, and we have an opportunity to you know get our picture up on the wall as a team, and um, and then just to make a memory. You know, so many times and. Uh, college sports and, and when you play on a team you don't get that opportunity a whole lot when you when you finish college or finish playing on a team um, you miss that a lot of times you go out into the working world and you don't have that intimacy with a team and being on a team and being a part of it and so let's go make a memory you know 5 10 20 years down the road this is something we'll always remember to overcome adversity to do something together to to win a championship to cut down some nets and um, let's go go do it for our brother next to us. Let's go do it for all the uh, former to win their last game of the year, win a title, and um, and the guys kind of took to that and um, played to that and, and couldn't be more proud of them. 
We're visiting now with Steve Draven from Bethel, who's in his fourth season at the program. And right here on Midwest Sportsnet, we encourage you, please keep enjoying the videos here as we like to talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Uh, Coach, I wanted to take something from your page on on the the athletic site for Bethel. It talked about uh, when when you got there, you wanted to build a, a program to help young men grow in their relationship with Christ. And one of the quotes in particular I intend to build a faith-based culture focusing on the core values of unity, humility, gratitude, mindset, and fearlessness. Can you talk about that and and even how something like that builds toward a championship? Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, for me, you know, a few years prior to uh, my becoming the head coach at Bethel, I kind of had the bug to become a head coach. And a part of that was the previous coach I worked for, K.C. Alexander, um, I played for him at Belmont and coached with him at Stetson and Lipscomb. And, you know, we were on a, a rooftop in the Dominican Republic on a mission trip and we all kind of shared our testimonies and coach was the last one to go. And our guys were on the edge of their seats, just listening to his every word because, you know, they're really getting to know him on a, on a more intimate level. And, you know, cause he has that platform as a head coach. And I thought, man, what an opportunity for him to just, uh, you know, help our guys grow and be vulnerable and, share his struggles in the faith and his, um, you know, dependency on, on Jesus. And, and so it started my journey to be wanting to become a head coach. And when I got the job, fortunately, you know, Tony Natale, our athletic director hired me and the committee, um, I was fired up to kind of do it in a, a godlike way to run a program that is based on, um, you know, Christ-like values. Um, you know, I kind of chose the five of, unity, humility, gratefulness, mindset, and fearlessness, as you mentioned, and unity, just being together uh, through thick and thin, no matter what happens, you know, like our team did uh, with the championship and humility, not thinking less of ourselves, but thinking of ourselves less being about uh, the team and our brother next to us and uh, gratefulness when you're grateful for what you have and um, it provides energy and, and and you become a good teammate and humble. And, and then, you know, mind uh, mindset, just having a, a positive and a growth mindset, trying to get better each and every day and staying with it. And then fearlessness, you know, for God to not give us a spirit of timidity, but one of power, love and self-control, you know, I want our guys to be confident and to know that they have the love of Christ in their hearts. That's, you know, um, circumstances and performance is not their identity, not our identity, but it's who we are in Christ. And um, by having that gift, that should, you know, uh, motivate us to, to play to the best of our abilities, to play to an audience of one and, and just play with total freedom and to not worry about outcomes, but uh, that we already have that gift. We don't have to earn anything. You know, we've already gotten the gift and um, let's go do the best that we can. And um, that's, a, that's kind of what we want our program to be, uh, you know, who, who we are. Well, as that's part of the culture, then I'm sure that that lends toward the next question. As you all were headed to Winona Lake, uh, coming off the end of the the regular season into the postseason just a little bit, the Pilots had lost five of their last six games then heading into the NCCAA National Tournament. So I guess uh, you may have answered this question a little bit in your previous answer, but what what do you say and how do you prepare for the 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 team for heading into this and, and uh, hoping to get the outcome, which ultimately you did? Yeah, definitely challenging because, you know, it, no matter how much you say, you know, it's about the next game and it's about being the best you can be. When you lose a few games, you know, five out of six, as we did, you know, it's easy for the, you know, that to in, in infect our psyche and, and, and mindset and, and our mood and whatnot. And so just as a coach, you have to stay as positive as you can and, and try to build them up uh, confidently as best you can. And, you know, hey, we have an opportunity to go play the game. Two years ago when COVID hit, you know, we couldn't do anything for months. and our guys were chomping at the bit to get back in the gym and to, to compete again. And, you know, our third core value gratefulness, you know, Hey, we get an opportunity to go play the game that we love. And, you, you know, we, when the, when the ball stops bouncing, you know, you, you know, you miss that. And, you know, as a 41 year old male, you know, I, what I wouldn't give to go back and play college basketball with my, with my brothers again. And I'm um, just trying to give them that mindset of, Hey, let's go, let's go do something special, build a memory and, um, enjoy it and you know just one one game at a time one day at a time one possession at a time and um, let's go see uh, what we can do and uh, together as a team coach with a national championship now and you'll talk you talked about those pictures there 
that are going to be put up on the on the wall in the locker room. A 21 season as well, which is a milestone uh, to to look back on. Then uh, it I'm sure it does and will help with recruiting heading into the next season. But when you look back on the season as a whole, what do you take away from this year? Yeah, just the perseverance. Um, you know, we've had our challenges, our ups and downs, and um, you know, just within our locker room and and staying together and and you know, adversity with some with some tough losses. You know, in, in my opinion, we play in the toughest league and in, in all of NAIA. You know, just from top to bottom. You know, each each night is a challenge, and um, which we want as a program. You know, I, I took this job knowing that it was going to be a challenge. Our league is so good. And, it only makes you better as a coach, as a staff, as a team. And um, so just the perseverance, the ability to stay with it, um, to, um, you know, to, to, to build relationships, um, you know, no matter what's going on, no matter what the circumstances are, um, you know, just our staff help, trying to help them as coaches in this profession grow and continue to build relationships with the players and with each other. Um, you know, it's so important to have the right kind of guys that are like-minded and, um, we're going to help spur each other on and to have similar values and, you know, just taking all that into account and, and um, you know, just a per- perseverance just to stay with it really for me. Well, coach, congratulations on the victory national champions in the NCCAA, the fifth time that Bethel has done that in program history, coach Steve Draven. Thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the summit. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate all you guys do for the, for the game of basketball and for um, just the faith. Thank you.